So the fourth question tonight is an event question. I have a date. And if anybody can tell me what significant event happened, actually it's not a date, it's a month. Um, well, I'm pretty sure I know the date. Maybe, okay, I'll give you the date. What happened that was significant on like July 29th, 2005? Does anybody know what happened like four years ago? Okay. I did not get arrested then giving out cookies. Nice try, Steph. That was like way back November 2000. Yeah. So, uh, did anybody clap here yet, or what are you guys doing? Okay. July 2005. July 29th. Yeah, I can't give out any more hints than that. Um, yeah, 2005. So, uh, like I say, there's lots of stuff happening in the movement, and uh, hempology.ca is a really good way to stay current with stuff. What's your guess here? Okay, Fred. Oh, gee, the club got broken and interrupted. It's happened too much, but I don't think it happened on that day. No, I'm pretty sure it didn't happen on that day, so. Yeah, if you clap, they don't get any hints, yeah. What? Um, <coughs> Um, that was that was not the year that Mark Emery got busted for the summer of legalization tour. I believe that was 2003 or 2004. Um, oh, you're clapping. Oh, okay, it is the day that Mark got busted for seeds, so though, when he was in Halifax. So. <laughs> For 10 points to tie the game, the Ganja Guru, Sepp. Uh, yeah. No, that was their second guess. Yeah, no, that was their second guess. I, It's all happening quickly for me, too, I know, but wow. Okay. Here we go with the fifth question tonight with a tie game. I like to ask a career question. Like, you know, there's all sorts of people that are doing stuff to help change the law one way or another, right? And uh, really, our diversity, I think, is our greatest strength. If, if everybody was like me, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's something that uh, it takes people from all walks of life uh, to, to, to not only make change, but for me, the diversity of, of people is, is one of our most beautiful things, too. But uh, tonight's career question is uh, really uh, uh, more kind of what this guy used to do than what he's doing right now. Um, but really what he's doing now is kind of based on his further work. Can anybody tell me for 20 points, what career did Barry Cooper have? What career was Barry Cooper? Kristen. Barry Cooper was a policeman down in Texas, yes. Um, Barry's uh, gone and, and reformed, you could say. He's got this uh, video out there, I think, called Cop Busters, where he gives you hints on how not to get arrested and how to avoid, you know, dealing with the police in all sorts of circumstances. Coming from an uh, expert former narcotics officer, DEA agent in the United States. So if you uh, want to go down and travel in the United States and smoke a lot of herb, you should probably check out some of his videos and stuff because he gives you all the tips you need to know. I think even for like smuggling and putting stuff in the mail, all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, I haven't seen it yet myself, so maybe I shouldn't say what's what's in it. But I know he tries to help people get avoid getting busted. What's your name? Of and uh, Barry Cooper, I think Cop Busters is the name of uh, what he what he's put out there. Anyway. 20 fat points has gone to the Ganja Gurus, or Ganja, sorry, not the, the girls on top. Oh my goodness. Oh. Anyway, we're, uh, yeah, we're already there. It's our smoking contest, folks, so uh, this is going to happen real fast, too. But uh, it's pretty simple. Each team gets uh, a gram, and uh, we uh, basically make them roll it into two joints and smoke it, like, as soon as possible. So uh, I'll make you guys leave it in the bag. So don't take it out of the bag. Leave it tied up in the bag. We'll put that extra 
little challenge and in, into it all. So, uh, an observer. Oh, an observer. Okay. Um, an observer, no grinders. Okay. Let's just go fingers here. Oh, we go for me. So, uh, keep it in the bag. Oh, I was going to give you those papers, but if you got your own, here. So, uh, like I say, keep it in the bag. They got a pipe. You got a pipe? Leave it tied. There's his tie, too. Two joints. <laughs> so the trick is, each team has a gram of pot. They pretty much just got to roll two joints and smoke it like 90. And uh, the, the first team to make it disappear in the pipe gets 10 points. Um, the Ganja Gurus really could use it, so let's see if they pick it up. The smoking contest starts tonight in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh. Sorry, I'm having a commercial break. Oh my goodness, you are doing really well. <laughs> so if you want to see uh, the other quarterfinals, last year's game show, and, and other stuff that we do at Empology, you should check out the YouTube channel, Empology 101 has. We've got a whole bunch of videos, classes that I teach at the university, and different things uh, that are happening. A uh, slideshow presentation a little while ago, we went with Herb over to Vancouver, and went to uh, the Marijuana March over there, and had a lot of fun with that. So yeah, check out uh, the... Uh, Hempology uh, channel and uh, back to the, the smoking contest here. Girls on top are uh, just uh, plugging away and have got uh, both joints lit already. And uh, the Ganja Gurus are just getting their second joint lit now. And uh, it seems to be a pretty uh, close race though for the most part. Although uh, I, I almost worry that the Ganja Gurus have one joint that's a, a little bit too tighter. Holy cow. Yeah, you gotta light it at the end, not in the middle there, Doc. No, um. <laughs> so, uh, the Surgeon General does not want you to smoke your cannabis like this, folks. I just have to say, this is not the healthy way to do it. Um, partly because the hotter it gets, the worse it is for you. That's why vaporizers just try to bring it to a point where it's kind of vaporizing, but not actually burning so that you're getting, you know, cut tars and, and really uh, kind of uh, more toxins into your lungs and throat. Um, it's better to have it at a lower burning temperature. So when you get a big heater or you, you puff like crazy and it, it, it actually, as the heater gets bigger or the pipe, it, it burns at a higher temperature. Therefore, it destroys more THC. And you don't get as high as you do if you burn it at a lower temperature. And so your joints will last longer and you'll get more high if you smoke slow. On the other hand, if you're trying for 10 points, folks, I don't mean nothing because, like, you're just trying to make it disappear. So, like, let's see. The Ganja Gurus, I think, have just been on a mission. There it is. Like, <laughs> guys were on fire. Um, uh, they just, I, I, uh, I, I don't want to say Doc got the 10 points there, but if you guys were seeing the way that man was behaving, he was, uh, yeah, he was not going home having lost that smoking contest, folks. You can just tell. That was, uh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> So, <laughs> right on, guys. So, uh, the uh, contest now is a little bit uh, closer again. It's, uh, I, I think, going to be a, a really uh, a, a tight race here tonight, folks. The, the girls on top still have the lead with 35 points, but the Ganja Gurus have got 25. They're just like neck and neck. So. Let's see uh, what happens now. So, 